hello, hello, my beautiful people. My name is Nikki Novoselsky, and I am a traveling yogi, mindset mentor, life coach, and spiritual nomad. I'm also a very curious person, and I love traveling the world with an open heart and mind and putting myself in other people's shoes, diving into culture, learning languages, learning about other religions, and just how other people live. So today is a very special video. All of my videos are special, but today specifically, I will be celebrating Ramadan. I know, I will be fasting for one day. I know it's only one day and Muslims typically celebrate Ramadan for 30 days, the ninth month of the Muslim calendar. But I will just be doing one day to understand how other people live and other religions, especially here in Indonesia. So I specifically am in Bali, Indonesia, and Bali is a very unique island because it's actually a Hindu island in this Muslim country of Indonesia. And Indonesia has the largest population of Muslims in the world. It makes up 13% of the world's Muslim population. So I'm an American and there are many Muslims in America. There's about 3.45 million Muslims in America, but that only makes up about 1.1% of the population. So living here in Indonesia, surrounded by the Muslim community, there's about 87% of the population here in Indonesia is Muslim. I figured it would be the perfect opportunity to learn a about Ramadan. So today I will be fasting just for one day, but we're gonna see how this goes so I can really understand and dive deep into the culture. You ready to come fast with me? Well, I'll do the fasting. You do the coming along for the ride. Sound good? <laughs> Let's go. Okay, it's 4.45 in the morning. Woke up at 4.30. I'm exhausted and not hungry or thirsty at all, but we are doing it. We are gonna eat because if we don't, it's gonna be a long day ahead of us. <laughs> So this first meal is called Sahor, where you eat before the sun rises. Because when the sun rises, you will have to fast, no eating, no drinking. So we're trying to drink all the water and eat all the food. I actually would crave a salad. They say to eat a lot of vegetables, a lot of protein. We don't have vegetables, we have fruit, <laughs> but we do have protein. So we're gonna be eating some protein bars and some fruit and with some peanut butter and cheese. <laughs> <laughs> so that's what we got today. And we're gonna see how it lasts us. Sahur breakfast. So they say that people's sleep schedules and eating schedules get completely messed up, which is true because we are waking up super early. So this is such a change. I can't believe that during this month, it's like such a huge change to get used to. And I can only imagine doing this for the whole month. So we're doing it for one day and I'm sure I would get used to it, but right now it's a big change. <laughs> I thought I wasn't that hungry, but now I'm eating things. I'm eating all the things. <laughs> Normally my eating schedule, I normally don't eat until like 11 or 12. Like I fast until 11 or 12, and then I eat pretty early again, and then so I fast during the night. So this is like completely flipped. So now that I'm eating early, and then I'll eat late, and then I'm fasting during the day. So my body is just gonna be like, what? is going on here but that's all part of the experience this looks like a hurricane came in and <laughs> destroyed the place of all this food all right we drank a lot of water we had a lot of food my stomach is full and i'm gonna go back to sleep so that i can wake up feeling refreshed and hopefully won't feel hungry until way later let's let's go back to sleep i'll see you in a couple hours so I'm not fasting alone. I'm with my gal and adventure buddy, Susan. Hi. So we had to wake up at 4.30 a.m. this morning yeah. for our first meal before sunrise because it's we can't eat during the day. We can't eat when the sun is up. So we, we, were, we were quite, uh, quite tired. Yeah, 
quite so tired, tired this morning. Yeah, we were tired. So we woke up at 4.30, had sahur, which is the first meal that you eat. And we had snacks. Sna we had so many snacks. And then we went back to bed, woke up at like 11, 10. 10. Woke up at 10 and it is now 11. And how are we feeling? Thirsty. <laughs> I'm, yeah. yeah. I'm missing water and I'm really missing my coffee. That's for me the main thing. Like food is now still quite okay. Yeah. But just water and coffee. I know. I'm actually, so if anyone knows me, I am like, <laughs> Susan laughs at me because I guzzle water like it's my <laughs> job. And so not having water is, is difficult. All right, we'll check in more times throughout this day, but we're gonna go meditate and pray. Yeah. We're doing that five times today. All right, we're gonna do a bit of a walk and talk here. So because I've never celebrated Ramadan before, I had to do a lot of research. I'm just gonna share with you some of the basics that I learned that I found fascinating. And of course, this is not extensive. So if you have more information for me about Ramadan, please post it in the comments. I'd love to hear from you. First things first is that it is the ninth month of the Muslim calendar. And it starts with the crescent moon and it ends, the cycle ends on the next crescent moon, which I believe is beautiful and fascinating. So you cannot eat when the sun is up. So most people eat a sahur, which is the meal before sunrise. So I actually woke up at 4.30 this morning to eat my sahur. I had lots of nuts. I had some fruit, peanut butter, and bananas. I had some cheese and some bread. And also it's a time of introspection and being very charitable. And so by fasting, you're really going inward. And it's also about self-restraint. So no smoking, no drinking, no sexual activity, and no bad behavior. So just really being a good person during this time and meditating, praying, getting closer to the Quran and studying the religion. Ramadan is so fascinating because it really is about this self-restraint for fasting during the day. So no water, no food, and then we're gonna break the fast later with iftar. So they say to eat some dates before iftar and then you can get into your big meal. So meditation and prayer is a huge part of Ramadan. It's all about introspection and getting closer to God and religion. So I will be meditating five times today and I'm already feeling a little lightheaded by not drinking water. If you know me, I guzzle so much water throughout the day. And so that is what's getting to me most. The food, it's fine. It's just the water where I'm feeling a little like, woo. But here we go. Let's settle in. Let's be introspective here. Surprisingly, Ramadan is reminding me of yoga. Why? Well, because with Ramadan, you're setting an intention to be introspective, to not eat, to not drink water while the sun is up. You're really trying to be charitable and get closer to yourself and get closer to God. And in yoga, we do the same thing. We set an intention of how we want to feel, where our mind wants to go, how to connect to our body. And because it is said, where the mind goes, the energy flows. So I'm such a big proponent of mindset. So I really enjoy this aspect of Ramadan. And if you're interested in learning more about mindset, I have a whole mindset course on how to change your thoughts to change your lives. But other than that, it's so interesting to really have this aspect flowing in to Ramadan. I am already a little bit tired and my body is very confused because we ate at 4.30 this morning and my body is like, wait, hold on, are we eating again? Why aren't we drinking water? Just very fatigued and the mind is very foggy as well. So it's very interesting to see how the body feels and that people do this for 30 days. I'd love to hear your experience. If you celebrate Ramadan, please let me know how you feel and your thoughts on all of it. I love connecting with you and I love learning from you. And we got a couple more hours, so I'm gonna continue meditating and I'm gonna continue chilling and uh, I'm getting ready for iftar, that's for sure. <laughs>
this is such a beautiful place to be able to fast and participate in Ramadan, so I feel so grateful. It's currently 2.30 and we got a lot of brain fog. Just very tired, wanna rest. Working is not my top priority. Resting is my priority. I really wanna down a whole glass of cold water and I just want some vegetables. A big plate of cooked vegetables sounds amazing. I'm so impressed for everyone who participates in Ramadan for 30 days. It is a lot, you're definitely changing your whole schedule and your sleep schedule and your eating schedule and it's a lot for a month so kudos to you hats off to you this is incredible i'm very impressed and i can understand now what you're dealing with through the day i don't want to look at pictures or videos of food or water because i'm just oh, i want it however we're not doing as bad as i thought we would be doing i still have some energy to be making these videos and to just be hanging out so proud of myself and i'm happy to be in this great mindset in this great Great place practicing Ramadan. Miss Susan! All right, we only have two more hours to go. We can do Four, it. Four, right? Two and a half? I don't know. Three? So. Who knows? Ugh. Okay, we're not gonna think about it. Yeah. Although we're thinking about it. Thinking about it way too much. Yeah. That's the thing. Don't think about the elephant in the room and then you think about the elephant. <laughs> <laughs> we're thinking about water and food. <laughs> Okay, I made it back to Changu, and I'm going to meet up with some friends, also breaking fast with me for Iftar at the beach in a little bit, but that was like an hour and 30 minutes of driving, and I thought I was gonna be so tired and have such a bad headache, and truthfully, I didn't really notice it. Maybe it took my mind off of it driving, and I actually felt very clear-headed, almost like enlightened <laughs> in a way, like a monk of sorts. So I felt really good. I was in a really great mood. I thought I was gonna be super hanged because normally I get really hungry and I get really angry but actually I was like flying and joyous and so happy so let me know when you fast what happens to you if you get hangry or if you get happy I'm curious to know how your fast goes but we are going to break fast soon and drink some water and have some dates and just talk about Ramadan with some other Muslim friends and I am so excited for that water water yep i feel a headache coming on so hoping to drink all of the water soon and uh let's go to the beach yeah all right of course i'm with susan still and we're gonna break the fast shortly yeah susan how are you doing not good over there saya bagus bagus Oh, so, she's, she's, oh no! I'm dying oh over no! Here. Yeah. We need someone get her some water. Someone get her water ASAP. Yeah. Okay, we're running to the beach. Running to the beach now. Okay, we made it to the beach and I met up with some friends. We have Anam from East Java. Say hello. Hello. <laughs> and Ajung, yes, did I say that right? Yes, I and do. you're from Surabaya, yeah? Surabaya, yeah. Surabaya. So they're breaking the fast with us and we're gonna start off with some water and ask more questions and find out more about Ramadan. It's 621. That means the sun is going down. That means we can drink water and eat some food. Here we go. We got lots of water. Are you ready for some water? Oh, you have your own little drink. Ready? Cheers! <laughs> Cheers! <laughs> I'm so excited to drink water. Okay, so I'm learning we have to say Bismillah and then drink all the water and then I can eat this date. I love dates. I'm obsessed with dates. Okay, here we go. So Bismillah. <laughs> Cheers! Never tasted so good. <laughs> so nice. Okay, now. Mm. Yeah, really sweet. Oh my gosh. Woo. It is like really, really sweet. I love dates and I love them even more right now. <laughs> you both were saying that fasting for the first day is the hardest day, yeah? Yeah. How about you? Is fasting for the first day the hardest day? Yeah, it is. 
So if I keep going for all 30 days, it will be fine? Yeah, just the first two days, shocking. Your body's like adapting to your um, metabolism. Okay, so if I were to keep going, I yeah. probably would get used to it. Yeah. Okay, I don't think I will keep going for the 30 days, but it's good to know that if I were, yeah, I could do it for one week. Maybe that'll be my next video, doing the full Ramadan. Maybe let, let me know. Okay, so we broke the fast with some water and some dates. I heard you're not supposed to have too many dates because there's so much sugar. But I love dates, so that's good. that might be difficult. But also, at the end of Ramadan, there is a ceremony called Eid al-Fitri. So, from what I know, you celebrate for three days? Okay, some people you can celebrate for one or two days depending on the family and location, right? Yes, correct. What does your family do? Usually we will just, uh, on the first day of the celebration, we will do the prayer in the morning, like around 6 or 7 a.m. Okay. And then after that we will just gather together with the family and mm -hmm. then uh, we will do this. I, I don't know if it is weird for you, but here sometimes we will just sit together and then maybe talk to your parents or your your uh, relatives and say forgiveness to each other oh, for example I will, I, will, I, will, I will ask you like Nikki uh, I'm so sorry for everything that I've done this year and then uh, we will just forgive each other and then like we will start over wait that's beautiful yeah I love that and then that's your neighbors beautiful. can also come over and then we will have special meal together and we have this meal uh, how to say this dishes yeah called ketupat ketupat sometimes we will eat it with opor or chicken you know yes, okay. uh, chicken curry yes yes oh, so good together with ketupat or uh, some other food mm -hmm. and some other snacks that you can only find during this time of the year okay. that sounds amazing that's great okay so you have like certain dishes that you have yes you say forgiveness yes that's lovely that's so beautiful so it's a time of introspection and then yes. at the end it's a time of forgiveness to others yeah i love that oh well thank you for sharing thank you <laughs> anything else to know about ramadan not really but maybe uh, you would want to feel it in a different way because every island or every city in indonesia might have different traditions okay. i'm not sure about bali because i've this is my first Ramadan and it will be Idul Fitri uh, in Bali. Okay. But yeah, we can experience it together, why not? Yeah, we should do it together. <laughs> oh, we'll have to do an Idul Fitri uh, video as well. Yeah, that would be lovely. Well, thank you so much thank for sharing. You. Okay, I'm also here with Zidan. Hi, guys. And he is from? I'm from Jakarta. Jakarta. Yes. Which part of Jakarta? I'm from South, South Jakarta. South Jakarta, yes. Jaxel. Jaxel, yeah, yeah. you're Jaxel. Oh, yeah. That's cool. <laughs> Okay, so I want to ask you, what does Ramadan mean for you? Like, what do you, during Ramadan, like, what, how do you celebrate? How do you... Yeah, uh, for me, it's very special uh, month because we always do it, Ramadan, things with our families, like, you know, just, yeah, maybe we do it once for a year. Mm -hmm. So it's very special for all Muslim in the world. Yeah. Yeah. Do you feel like you go, you really go inward and like yeah. more introspective or how do you feel? I just feel blessing. Yeah. Yeah. In this More month, gratitude. Yeah. This I month, I just feel that. blessing. Maybe uh, all the all Muslims in the world uh, feel like me too. Yeah. yeah, because it's a special month, guys. It is a special month, so I yes. love that you just feel like more connected to yourself, to others. Yes. More grateful. Oh, I love that. Sure. Yes. Well, I'm so grateful that I get to spend this day of Ramadan with you. <laughs> yeah. So, thank so you this for is your joining. first experience, right? This is, yeah, this is my first experience fasting and doing everything about Ramadan. Yeah. I honestly didn't know much about it until okay. like this past week when I started doing more and more research. So, okay. I'm yeah, it's been so really cool. It's been a cool. How do you experience. feel about about yeah this first? I wasn't sure what to expect. I thought I was gonna be like super angry, super tired, super just like annoyed that I had okay. to do it. But, you don't but feel honestly, that, right? I was I was like really excited to do it, and yes. I was a little bit tired. But it was really cool to like learn more about it and like yes. see other people's perspectives because I was doing it myself, you know. So it was a really cool experience. Amazing. Well, thanks for joining yeah. me. Wow, it's been such a full day, not of food, but. 
but of love, of introspection, of gratitude. And I'm so grateful that I got to experience Ramadan by myself, with Susan, and also with other Indonesians. It has been absolutely incredible. So if you like this video, please hit that like button. Subscribe to my channel for more videos with yoga and culture and traveling. And leave a comment below. I'd love to hear from you. So thank you so much for watching and I'll see you next time. Much love. Bye.